To create stop motion animation using Google tools, you're going to click on your Google menu and try to find Google Keep. If it's not in your menu, you can go up to your search bar and just Google Google Keep and it'll be your first result. So once you open it up, it looks like this and you're going to want to click on take a new note with the pen or with drawing. And then you open that up and it, it looks like a little paint app. You've got some options for pens, different sizes and a highlighter. There's an eraser tool and a clip tool that you're going to use for the animation part. So you're, you're going to want to first select um, a drawing tool. So I'll, I'll pick red and then the size of the pen. Um, so I'll pick that one and then I'm just going to draw a heart and please don't judge my drawing skills. They're not fabulous. I'm a little bit better with a stylus, but not that much better. Um, so once you've got your the start of your drawing, you're going to finish all the pieces you want. Um, I'm just going to do a heart and a light bulb just to keep it simple. And then I'm going to go to my menu and I'm going to download my drawing. So it's going to give me this file called ink. Um, dot PNG and I'm going to open Google Photos and then I'm going to drag that ink file into uh, my Google Photos app. It's going to prompt you with all these different options for syncing your desktop to your um, Google Photos account but you don't need to do that. Um, so once I drag the photo in it's going to automatically be in my Google Photos app. Then I go back to Google Keep and I'll use this clip tool that I was talking about before. And you're going to take that and size it over top of whichever part of the image you want to move first. So I'm going to move the heart. Now just to keep it simple, I'm going to move it all the way off the page. But students can move, like say they had a couple animals drawn, they could move, move them just a little bit closer together, however they want to animate it. But I'm just going to move it right off the page. And then I'm going to download that image. So I'll click download and then do that same process again where I drag that photo into my Google Photos. Um, and then the photo will be there and then I'll go back to Google Keep. Same thing, cut out the flower and then I'm going to download the new image once I move it off the screen. Um, I click on that menu, click download and I'll just drag that right into my Google Photos app. So you repeat that same process for whatever other pieces you want to move. You take an image each time you move your object a little bit. And you can take up to 50 pictures to use with this tool. So I'll go to Google Photos and now I've got um, my four images that I want to use for this particular animation. Um, and once they show up there, um, I can go I can see that all my images are there now. Now I'll click on um, Google Assistant on the left side there. So you open that up and then you want to find animation. Click on animation and it's going to bring up your images. You want to select the ones that you want to include in your stop motion animation. So like I said before, you can have up to 50 and click create. And then um, in a matter of seconds, you're going to have your um, stop motion animation. So it's pretty simple. Hope you enjoy that.